Hi, welcome to the garden again. And as you know, if you watched yesterday's show, um, we are in the process of designing a crystal grid. And the grid we're working on is this one, Compassion, which is actually for a client of mine named Alma. And she agreed to let me use her grid as an experiment for designing. Now, yesterday, if you watched, you understand, uh, we went through chakra colors from the uh, root chakra to the crown, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, that kind of, that's Roji Bib, that's the seven centers up and down the body. And at the center of this card is a bluey, purpley, but light configuration. And I didn't have any um, crystals that really matched that look. I had, well, I had a soda light, which is a blue, but it was very, very dark. And I wanted something that would play to the lightness too. Um, so I went to the rock, to the rock, to the rock, rock shop. I just got back, which is lots of fun because I have lots of things to play with now. Um, but I think I found the stone I liked the best that I felt energetically made the most sense to me of all the things I could have picked from at the shop. Um, I ended up picking a pyramid, which if you watched yesterday's show, you also understand pyramids uh, ex expand power. They bring power in, expand it across the grid, also take the power out of the grid and sort of project it out. I went over the shapes yesterday, too, of different kinds of things. So anyway, I'm trying to get these little cabochons. I'm going to talk about them. But anyway, I really kind of like that. And then, as you know, the next thing is to decide what six crystals we're going to make for the balance and harmony in this. Um, and I had one more crystal I wanted to try. And we're going to put all of them out here, each each one on its own. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the names of the crystals at the end uh, below my um, the reading, below the channel pro notes, and let you guys vote on what you think you would do. I'll still do what I want to do when I feel the like crystals. But this is called Prenite. And I'll tell you, the... the the, um, that one's too big. I have a little one that will fit better, better match better with the others. The, these match better. Okay, and it's prenite. And it's green. It sums a little bit lighter, but it's green. And it, the vibration of that is unconditional love, healing the healer, and to expand the knowing. And if you consider that this card, the frequency of compassion, is supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and to and to be the divine mediator between heaven and earth spirit and matter and so that unconditional love can flow from the source so that that stone kind of fits with that thing so it's called it's called prenite and it's p r e h n i t e that's the first one that i'm considering putting in the center and then what i'm going to do is I'm going to match it outside with another row of stones. And I'm thinking about moss agate. And the vibration of moss agate is to encourage tranquility and emotional balance. So you can see how that all works with someone being having compassion. It's another wonderful bright green green and white stone and I have a whole bag full of these so what I'll do is I'll play with them and see which one I like the best um, that might be one way to, to handle presenting them I think I'm not going to put you in there we'll put you in there because I think you fit better yeah that one fits better and so that's six and six. Or the other option I would have when I'm thinking these things through is 
there's that one, or to switch them. Put the prinite on the outside and put the moss agate on the inside. And I'm, I'm not sure I like that at all. So that's that layer of, that's one part of layering. The other option I would have is leave the moss agate, which is dark, and remove the conite and use another lovely green stone the crocodile jasper which i showed you yesterday is one of my choices that one will lay, lay a little bit better that way okay there we go and remember the crocodile jasper doesn't have lovely little it's not a lovely little round stone and it's kind of interesting when you lay it out with its flat projections and then I put I'll, I'll work on some fill for there that might be one option another option is to use some larger stones that I have that are green and um, crocodile jasper, the, the temperament for that is to calm the mind and relieve stress. The other one I have here is green adventuring. These are, oh, you need to go with your buds in the bag. Okay. Um, the other one would be uh, larger stones of green adventuring and spread these out a little bit more, make a little bit better space for the green adventuring to fit into. And put some green adventuring in. The, the, um, the vibe on the green adventuring is healing, good luck, and calms the soul. So you can kind of see where these green stones are taking us. They're all in a calming, making things quieter, and so you kind of you have to play with the stones a little bit to get a sense of balance. Um, and, and remember, this is what we're looking at. So we've got the 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 pyramid in the middle, and these guys. And um, I like that look to a certain extent, but I'm going to continue to pick through my green adventurings and find some that are a little bit greener, a little bit more prominent. Um, remember, when I fix them, then they won't rock around. They won't move around much. Now, the other option, we're just going to leave these as they are. And I that remember, I'm going to put the greens below, and you can kind of vote. First ring should be this one. Second ring should be that one, if you care. If you don't care, then don't vote. Um, the other options I found for center stones would be this flat one, which is it's actually looks much more blue when you see it in real life. And it is a chrysocolla. And it's a, it's a blessed stone for, it helps healing the heart. And got a whole bunch of these little babies, but some of them are really, really little and they wouldn't work. But I do have a green onyx. That's kind of pretty, but that's too much green. I want blue. I want to bring some blue in here. So let's see what I can find in the way of blue. Got a lot of these yellows and golds because I'm going to be doing a, a grid that is significantly yellow and gold. How odd. Um, and some rosy quartzes to go in it because it's a peachy, yellowy, 
card. I'll show you what it looks like. And I had to find some stones to fill that color regimen out. This is called Snowflake. It's black, but it's got light little blue colors in it. But I don't think it's quite as good as the pyramid. I don't. This is hard for me to explain to you. You're not sitting here with it, but it, it has, they all have a different feel. And, um, you know, like I said, I play with these stones and get them all to where the visually they balance as well. Let's see. It's too big, but I need that for a, what I'm doing called authority. Um, no more blues. I think we put, when I had them bag them up, I tried to have them bag all the blues in one place to help me when I got home so I don't have to quite sort through so many things. Um, so I think we're down to what I really wanted to find for this particular build was a stone called a bloodstone. And a bloodstone is for purification, courage, and and, um, and noble sacrifice. But I couldn't find any. They didn't have any today. Which means, in my mind, I wasn't supposed to find it. But I think it really comes down to this stone, which has a rougher surface, and it's kind of pretty. And if I want to get the white emphasis in the middle, I can stick a little white gabu on it. That's a rose quartz. Um, so this is the kind of stuff I have to sit around and think about because at the end of this build on this, if you will notice, there are six very bright, shiny stars. Now, another option I would have in this is to spread these out a little bit more and put little slivers of quartz points aiming out. And let me see if I, I have some sitting right here. I don't know what I'm talking about it. Like, I couldn't imagine doing that because guess what? I have some. some little ice cups. What am I going to do? Am I going to do ice? This is what I sit around and this is what troubles me. And I know some of you considering the troubles you have every day, you're like, I wish mine were this easy. But let me oh, I, just, I just bought a bag of them. That's the other problem I have is I don't have a lot of space and things tend to get stacked on each other. And sometimes they kind of get lost. I found them. Okay, this is warts from Brazil. Okay. Warts from Brazil is getting much more expensive because the quartz mines are closed down because of the COVID in Brazil. But I'm trying to find one. I'm to find some, some points that are at least sort of an equal length because that makes it easier to keep them visually balanced. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a whole big fat bag of them here, and if I really had to go look and find ones that were absolutely perfectly matched to each other, they wouldn't be because they're naturally formed points. But, okay, what I'm going to do now is put one here, and one here, one here. One 
here. Let's see, we should be, we should be, we should be at the end of this one. And one here. And one here. It gives a little more. Oh, you can't see those at all. I'm sorry. Should have done it in a dark piece of paper. But they're right there, and then they point up towards the other pieces and then I can do it like that. I can take this piece out and put my pyramid back in. With those pointing out, which unfortunately you can't see, you're going to have to learn how to do this faster so that Y'all have fallen asleep and or hope if you haven't, you're on your second, second or third cup of coffee. Anyway, um, so those are like there. And, and then I have the other little stars because those are supposed to be representing the little lines out. And then I have to find those stars. And I have a, a stone called an opalite. But I think what I'll do for tomorrow's look at this I'll put this on a darker piece of paper so you can see those things, but not so dark that the, the stones disappear. I'm going to put below which stones I'm looking at putting on, uh, what their kind of power is. And then if you want and you want to help me build this grid, if you would help me by voting on which you think is the best combination. And there'll be this, this closest to the center is called ring one and closer out. It, the next one out is ring two. And then tomorrow I'll have it on a better piece of paper so that you can see the um, quartz crystals and how they look. And we'll finish it out by finally putting the stones um, out by the, at that point to these six points in the star. There it goes. That looks a little bit better. And um, this is how you build a grid. I mean, you look at it, you start with, you look at the meanings, you look at how the crystals look themselves, how the stones look themselves. And I did have one person comment to me, um, but I don't have a lot of, I don't have a bag full of all these stones. Uh, as a freebie at the last day after I finish building this grid, I'm going to bring out some lovely tumbled rocks. They're just agates of various kinds. Dirt cheap. You can get a whole bag of them. I don't have one. A whole bag of them um, about, about this size. This is not them. This is not them, but about this size for 20 bucks. Actually, this is the mixed stones bag. And it's got some really pretty colors in it. Some shiny things. I'm going to talk about just deciding an intention and building a grid to that intention um, that's just out of stones. Don't have to have lots of quartz. Don't have to have quartz from Brazil. Don't have to deal with any of that stuff. Just grab some rocks. Maybe you have some crystals around your home you'd like to put into a grid. So we'll look at one that's not based on a picture. It's based on the concepts of the numerology. So if, if that interests you, uh, I'm back. I'll be doing that again. Uh, like I said, tomorrow I think we should be able to finish this grid as far as finishing it out. Then I will have a frame and I will show you if I put it on a black background what it looks like. And then you, and there's different ways you can handle the backgrounds. So your assignment, if you want to do it, is I will write down the stones. I'll write up. Uh, if you just comment back to me, I'll give you the descriptions. You don't have to put the descriptions in. If you just put the name of the stone and whether you want it in ring one or ring two, and I'll look at that and see if we're on the same vibe. I also will put this, this little, put the pyramid, which is a fluorite, and I will put the description of this stone. It's a very pretty stone. When you get close up, it's very pretty. It's very lovely. That could go in the middle. Or 
the fluorite, which is really an attractive. See, if you look at that illustration, it's it's dark around the edges, but it has a white top, and that's what that why I picked that particular piece of fluorite. And um, it's kind of where I am today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, trust me, building grids is not as straightforward as you might think. I'm trying to give you the whole look at how to think think your way through it. Remember, this is for compassion, and the primary number that is on this grid is sixes. It's got six, two rings of sixes, and then the six points on the star. And um, so that's, and six is hearth and home, harmony, lending things together. What you would expect for someone who has compassion, who's trying to merge the earth to the to the upper wisdoms of the universe. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, I hope to hear some replies from you. Also, the person who wanted to know about bloodstone, I was hoping to pick up a piece because I've used up all my pieces. That's actually what I wanted for the middle of this grid, but I can't find a piece. And But I will talk about bloodstone and its history and how it works. It's a, it's a very, very interesting stone. Take care. Have a good evening. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.